Hello, Mili. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Yes. Can you please turn on your camera, Mili? Great. Okay. So I'm happy to see you tonight, Mili. How are you today? I'm well. Ah, yeah. Okay. Can you please adjust your camera so that I can see your face? Yeah, because I can only see your headset, Mili, and your light. Okay, there you go. Very good. Wow, you look beautiful tonight, Mili. Yeah. Okay, so what did you do before entering in Zoom? I watch TV. Ah, you watch TV. What movie did you watch? I, what did you watch on the television, Millie? It's a uh, rock. What? What's this? Rav. Is this a carton movie? No, it's a YouTuber. Ah, a vlogger. I see. And what's the content of his vlog, Millie? I don't know. Yeah. One day doing boss. What He's boss? A... He is the boss? Know. You mean... He... That vlogger is a boss? No, one day doing boss. I don't know. Ah, okay. So how about the weather in your city right now, Millie? Is it so cold or... I don't know. <laughs> it's cold. Ah, yeah. And warm. Yes. Cold and warm? Mm. Yeah. Maybe just warm. Not hot, not cold. Okay. So mm. now, Mili, um, did you make your homework? No. I don't know. Ah, okay. I didn't give you homework last time. Find out the differences between the pictures upstairs. Yes, I didn't give you homework last time because I was not able yeah. to teach you well last night because of, uh, of, of the accident that happened to me. <laughs> yeah, but now, Mili, I, I recovered. Okay, so now, can you see teacher's screen? Yes. Okay. So tonight, Mili, we will discuss Unit 14. This is entitled Our Homes. Okay. What can you see in this picture? There are family and a gate, many trees and a house. Yes. Maybe trees. There is a tree, not maybe. There is a tree behind the house. And what do you think about this family? Uh, is this your ideal family, Millie? I don't know. Okay, this is Teacher AM's ideal family. Two boys and one girl. Three children, which is three children. Okay, and it's also my ideal house. Simple, but it, ha it is nice. Yeah. Okay, so now, Mili, let's proceed with the next slide. You're going to choose words from the circle to complete, what's this? To complete what Jock says. Okay, so this boy here is Jock. He is wearing a cup. Yeah. Now, I want you to read this and complete what Jack says. You can use the words inside the 
circle. We have people, address, rooms, tree, name, and house. Can you please start, Millie? My name is Jax. Fine. My address is 7 8 Garden Road. I live in a house in the village called Cartwell. Our home has six pupil, pupils. Pupils. Have six pupils. Okay, this is has six rooms. Okay. Continue reading, Mili. We've got... Can you please continue reading, Mili? Okay. My name is Jack Five. My address is 78 Garden Road. I live in a house in a village called Well. Our home has six rooms. We got a chicken, a kitchen, a living room, and a dining room downstairs, and two bedrooms, and a bathroom upstairs. Very good. Thank you for reading this one, Millie. You've got nine out of ten. Yes, because you only have one mistake. So that's nine out of ten. Very good, Millie, because you know name, address, house, rooms, and even people. Okay, what's the name of that boy, Millie? Is a Jack. Yes, it's Jack Fine. Where does Jack live? Jack lives in a, a, a seventy-eight garden roof and a village called. Well, yes. Okay, so can you please describe the house of Jack? Here, you drive brown, orange, and white. Wait. Okay, so uh, Sunny, what do these words tell us about? You can say again, my computer is left. Yes. Can you please help teacher describe the house of Jack? I don't know. Okay. Dave Jack's house got a kitchen, a living room, and a dining room downstairs. And it also have two bedrooms and a bathroom upstairs. And his house have six rooms. That is how you describe a house, Millie. Okay, before we proceed with the next slide, have you got any question? Yes. Yes, what's your question, Millie? I like it if you, if you have question to teach your AM. Do, do you do doing a uh, Google Earth? What's that? Google Earth. Google Earth. What is Google Earth? You mean the app in Google? The one where we search answers? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Ah, yes. Sometimes, Millie, yeah. I depend in yes. Google, but I make sure that the answers came from legit sources. Yes, if there's some answer that I'd like to check if it's really correct, I search it on Google, Millie. How about you? 
Do you? Yeah. I doing. I like doing. Yes, because you know we can search anything from Google Mealy. Yes. And it's good because you know how to search in Google at your age. Okay, so what are the things that you search on Google Mealy? What are the things that you search it on Google uh, Mealy? I don't know. Yes. Okay. So teacher know. AM, uh, the last, my last recent searches in Google was, why is it that snake will come near you if you whistle? And I found out that that was just a superstition. Yeah, it is not real nearly. When we say superstition, that is just a belief of some group of people. It doesn't based in facts. Okay, so now, Mili, let's proceed here. What's this? Let me see. What Jack's family name? What is Jack's family name? Is a uh, I don't know. Okay, kindly look at this one, Millie. I'm sorry because I covered it with your picture in Zoom. Okay, you go back to what Jack says. Okay, what is the family name of Jack? When we say family name, that you can find it. That is the last. That is your last name, Millie. I can, I can the apple of my voice. Yes, fine. What, Millie? Fine. Fine, yes, that's fine. How was Jack? How's Jack, Millie? Do you know the answer? Fine. Yes, Jack's fine. Very good. Okay, so for number two, what's the number of Jack's house? He's a 78. Yes, he lives in 78. How do you spell the name of Jack's village? Can you please tell it to me? Uh, our ears. Uh, I don't know. Okay, it's well, W E L L. When somebody, when I ask you about the spelling, Millie, you just read the letters. Yeah, how do you spell the name of Jack's village? W E L L, well, like that. Okay. Next, let's proceed with number yeah. four. How many bedrooms are there in Jack's house? Um, there are six. Okay, that's six. Very good. Ah, I'm sorry. How many bedrooms, not rooms? There are one. There is one. There is one. There's two milli. Here in this part. And two. Ah, okay. And two bedrooms. Yeah. Okay, for part B, Mili, you're going to listen and write. Are you now ready? Are you now ready to listen to the audio? Yes. 
Okay, so now I want you to listen to Ben and his grandmother. 14B, our homes. Listen and look. There is one example. Hi, Grandma. Are you happy in your new house? Yes, Ben. It's great. What color is it? It's blue and white. Blue and white? That's nicer than ours. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. How many rooms have you got? We've only got six rooms, but that's okay. Wow! That's a lot! Six bedrooms? No, we've only got two bedrooms upstairs. Two? Oh. Two. And can you give me your new address? I want to send you something. Oh, is it something nice? Yes. Okay. I live in Bank Road at number 56. Number 56, Bank Road. Great. Thanks. Three. And what's the name of the town, Grandma? My new house isn't in a town, Ben. I live in a village called Sky. Sky? Is that S K Y? S K Y. Yes, that's right. Four. What's your favorite room in the new house? My kitchen. I love my kitchen. Why? Because it's got a big window, and I can watch my chickens in the garden. Five. What's near your house? There's a river near my house. You can go there and fish. A river? Wow! That's great! See you next weekend, then. Yes. Bye for now, Ben. Okay, now, did you listen effectively, Millie? Yes. Okay, now I want you to write your answer in numbers one to five. What's the number of bedrooms? Okay. And where's the address of grandmother's new home? Great. And what's the name of the village? Okay, favorite, favorite room and house is near at? Okay, are these your final answers, Millie? Yes. Okay, so let me see. It's 256 Kai Kitchen and River. Wow, that's five out of five. Very good, Millie. You got a perfect score here. Great job. Do you have, I know that you have a question to teach for Millie. What is it? <laughs> no. Ah, okay. <laughs> So I just pretend that you have a question. Okay, so this one, Millie, really, are the bedrooms upstairs or downstairs? Bedroom is upstairs. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's upstairs. Are there chickens or kittens in her garden? No. Okay, that's chickens. How about number three? When she can see the chickens. What's this? Are Is there chickens or kittens in, in our garden? Wait, wait, wait. The kitchen. Okay, when she can see the chickens, which room is, he, is she in? Okay, that's in the kitchen, the door of the kitchen for number... Uh, so that was the end of part B, really. Now, let's proceed with part C. You're going to write about your home. Okay, can you... So before you write, Mili, let me read this to you first. Flat and apartment are similar in meaning. Flat is generally used in British English and apartment is used more in American English. But apartment is now often used instead of flat in British English when describing new or more expensive homes. Okay, so now I want you to write about your home, Millie. Okay, is there any people inside this room? I have a lot of dogs already. Mm, my homes. Mm. My homes. Uh, Okay, can you please My write home me? is uh, Okay, you can complete this here, Millie. I live in I live in uh, a house. I live in a house. My address is Remember where that spot. Ten, uh, 25 B Gautang. Our, I live in a town. Our home has seven rooms. We got a kitchen, a four bedroom. Uh, okay, so your time is up. Four bathroom, a balcony, and uh, and uh, there are two balcony. My favorite room is my bedroom and my mother room because I, my room, I can do homework and my mother bedroom, I can play with my baby brother. There is a, there is a garage near my home. You can you can play there oh wow so i can imagine your home really that it's so nice classy and the ambience there is so good okay very good Milly. for this part in in letter c you got 100 out of 100 because the way you described your home was excellent and it's all true, mainly. Okay, so now. You're going to answer the questions about where you live. How many windows are there in your house? It's very much. I can't count. I don't count. It's many. 
Uh, yeah. How many phones are there, Millie? Phones. I I don't know. I don't know. Okay, have you got a phone, Millie? No, I'm not. Ah, okay. How about your phone? Do you have telephone inside your house? Mm, no. Okay. So, how many floors are there? Mm, a seven floor. What? Is a seventh floor. Ah, seven floors. Have you got a garden, Millie? No, but I have a garage. Yes. Okay. The, does it have a lift? Mm, yes. Okay. Does it have stairs? Uh, what? Does it have stairs? No. Okay. What color is the roof? This is a. Uh, I don't know. What's the color of your roof, Millie? Your roof, your roof. I don't know. Is a word. Okay. Does it? What's in your living room? My computer. Uh, my computer. Uh, so two sofa. Uh, uh, many books and uh, pillow. Okay. Very good, Millie. Thank you for answering all my questions, Millie. Now, do you have any question to me before we start part E? No. Okay. So here in part E, Millie, you're going to say and spell chicken and kitchen. You look at the six different shapes. What do we call them? What do we call this? Uh, is a circle. It's a circle. How about this? It's a star. A star. Very good. Okay. What's this mean? It's a rectangle. Okay, this is a triangle. When we say triangle, it has three sides. And this is a rectangle because it got four sides. How about this one, Willie? What do you call this? It's a rectangle. Okay, this is a square because it has an equal size. Four sides and all of them are equal. Okay, this is a rectangle, Millie. How about this one? Do you know this side? 
I don't know. Okay. One, two, three, four. How many sides is that? I don't know. Okay. This is a pentagon. Pentagon. Yes. Okay, I'll write it for you, Millie. Pentagon. <sighs> I'm sorry, Millie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we have a circle, a star, a square, a triangle, a rectangle, and a pentagon. Now, I want you... What's this? Listen and color okay, so the big shapes in A. Ah, okay. I want you to listen and color the big shapes in letter A, Lily. Okay. I color the rectangle. Ah, wait. I think it got... Whoa. Okay, wait me a bit, Millie. I will just um take a picture of this one so that I can read it to you. Okay. Can you see now my screen, Millie? Yes. Are you okay, Millie? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So now, you listen to Teacher AM and you color the shapes there. Okay. You color the triangle pink. Kind of pink, okay. Can you see the rectangle? Yeah. The rectangle is gray. Oh my god. I'm finished. Okay. Make the square yellow, please. Make the square yellow, please. Then the rectangle is gray. Can you see the rectangle? Yeah. Okay. But I don't have a gray. You can color it black, mainly, because I think they are just the same. Okay, you make the square yellow, please. The circle is light blue. The pentagon is light green. You don't have to color the star because the star is white. Okay, I repeat. Color the triangle what, pink, what, please. What uh, pan is pentagon? Okay, I will repeat. What is a pentagon? You wait for teacher first. Color the triangle pink, please. Can you see the rectangle? The rectangle is gray. Make the square yellow, please. The circle is light blue. The pentagon is light green. You don't have... To color the star because the star is white. Okay. 
Great job, Mili, because you got a perfect answer for this. And it's all correct. Wow, your listening skill is excellent. I'm giving you, I will give you 10 out of 10. Okay, so what time do you usually sleep, Mili? Yeah. What time do you usually sleep? It's uh, 10 o'clock. Ah, uh, 10 o'clock. Okay, so here, Mili, you're going to say and spell chicken and kitchen. Okay, for A, it is a kind of bird, but it can fly. What is this? Is this a chicken or a kitchen? Chicken. Can you please spell? Chicken. Okay. Okay, so when you answer Mimi Lee, you say chicken, C-H-I-C-K-E-N, chicken, like that. Okay, how about this one? We eat in our blank because we haven't got a dining room in our house. So what's your answer here? Is it chicken or kitchen? It's okay, I T. C-H-E-N, kitchen. Very good. That's great, Mili. Are you sleepy? Yes, Mili. <laughs> okay. So here, you're going to write, listen and write one. Okay, I think there's still part of it that I will read it for you. Wait me a bit, Millie, because I'll open this one. Ah. C-H, how do you do this? C-H. Okay, so you write one or two letters in each shape, maybe. For example, CH. Circle is CH. Okay, then let's write here C H. This is C H. Okay, this is chicken. What do you think is for letter I? What letter is letter um, I really? Is a pentagon. Pentagon. Chicken. Okay. Are you sure about that, Mili? No, it's a uh, 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 the CH is a uh, I don't know what this. I think it's a square. Okay, C H no is a circle, Millie. Yeah. Okay. I is a. Uh -huh. Uh, is a square. I is a square. Letter I is a square. Okay, this is I. So let's put I here. 
Okay, can you please continue, Millie? You'll be the one to write. You're going to solve uh, the shapes here. Let me see if you know Millie. You can say again. Yeah, let me see if you know the answer here. You're going to, I think you got now the, 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 the strategy on how to answer this. Because you did, you are correct that I is square. Yeah. My computer is very loud now. Ah, okay. So tell me the, the letter, Millie. Is a letter a teacher letter I is a letter I is a square uh, is a triangle. Are you sure, Milly? I don't know. Okay, you are correct with letter I. How about Pentagon? What do you think is the letter for Pentagon? Just follow the spelling of chicken here, Millie, so that you will know the next letter for Pentagon. We're done with letter C, Millie. This is CH. Is letter K. Letter K. Okay. Uh, letter T. What's letter T? Letter T. What it's shape a, is letter T? Uh, is a star. Okay, you're correct. So let's put it here. Okay, so how about pentagon and pentagon, rectangle, and triangle? What letter can you put there? In letter E. Okay. Letter E. What's letter E, Millie? Letter E is in a pentagon. Pentagon chicken. Okay. Pentagon mili is letter chicken. S S C. Ah, oh, yes, you're correct. This is C. Pentagon is letter C. This is CK. CK. Okay, how about rectangle and triangle? Letter N. What's letter N, Millie? Is a rectangle. N rectangle is N. Okay, if I put here N, this is niche. Okay, please change your answer, Millie. Is a triangle. Okay. Okay, this is K and this is E N. Finally, we have chicken and kitchen. Okay. So now we have this one. 
Uh, chicken kitchen. That is how you answer this one, really. Okay, very good. So here, can you say it? Charlie the chicken is in Kim's kitchen. Charlie's eating the chips that Kim cooked. Quick cut, Charlie. Okay, can you please read this one, Millie? Charlie the kitchen is in Kim's kitchen. Charlie is eating the chips that Kim cooked. Quick, cut. Charlie. Okay, it's a great job, Mili. Since our time is over, we will just end here, Mili. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for participating in our class. Have a good night and see you tomorrow, 12 p.m. in our makeup class. Bye-bye, Mili. Bye-bye. Yes.